With loving greetings from all souls at this station, this is Matthew. We have been asked how the guilty verdicts on all felony charges levied at Donald Trump affect the progress of the light in that country. Although the trial has given political and legal analysts something akin to scandalous fodder to discuss, it won't loom larger than footnotes in universal history. Even Earth's energy field of potential, which reflects activity on the surface, had only hiccups when the verdicts were announced. That is not to say, very little of importance is happening in that country. There and elsewhere, even the strongest of souls are being buffeted by the surging energies during this last phase of the light vs dark battle. The darkness knows it is done for and the waves it is making in its last gasps are being countered by intensified light from myriad sources on and off planet. You are among them, dear brothers and sisters, and your light is strong indeed, but your third density bodies are susceptible to bouts of fatigue and imbalance caused by clashing energies. Light is far more than the only weapon that can conquer darkness. Light is who you are, powerful immortal souls. Light is everything that exists in this universe, it is the life and consciousness of this universe. I asked my mother to please copy here passages I'll designate as we go along. Whether the information is new to you or familiar, keeping it in mind will help you navigate the months ahead with self-confidence, peacefulness and optimism about Earth's future. The excerpts below are from Illuminations for a New Era and numerous messages. Suzanne, Matthew, please tell me about Divine Light. Matthew, it's not as if tacking Divine onto Light promotes it to Lightest, Mother. Simply, Light is Divine. Light and its indivisible love component is Creator Source Energy, the most powerful force in the cosmos and the very essence of life itself. Love Light is Creator and Creation. Not only is it the life force of everything that ever has been created, it is the composition of souls. Each soul has its own unique light streamer that identifies it regardless of its spiritual evolvement station, where it is located in the universe, or in a physical or etheric body or free spirit status. You are eternal beings of love light, and your energy's high vibrations have been creating betterment on the planet during all the years you have been there. Simply by being you are that powerful, that influential. Only for simplicity of speaking do we usually say light or love the words are interchangeable because light and love are the very same energy. They may be seen, felt and expressed differently, but they cannot be separated any more than two sides of a coin can be. You could say that light is the makeup of a soul and love is the capacity of a soul, but those cannot be separated any more than the soul can be separated from its eternal linkage with God, the supreme being of this universe and with Creator the infinite, eternal, omnipotent and omniscient source, oneness of all. The light attributed to the sun actually is from God through the Christ realm, which is Creator's first expression of itself. Always Big Bang has been a misnomer the beginning was completely silent as Creator or Source or Creation expressed itself as light. Creator, the ultimate being and supreme ruler of the cosmos, Source, from whence everything in existence comes, creation, its action, and products, immortal souls. All in existence throughout creation is manifested and connected through the energy generated by the continuous flowing of light being directed and received. There is no beginning and no ending, there just is the oneness of all. Every soul is part of it and each has the capability and the choice to generate light or darkness. Light comes into this universe through its supreme being whom you may call God, Allah, Jehovah, Yahweh, or any other name, and everything is universally connected by and within this energy. This entire universe is light. Therefore spirit, which is considered faith, and science, which is considered fact, are one and the same, light fluctuating at one frequency or another. The balance that maintains universal order is provided by systematic expansion and contraction. That constant motion of the light enables minds to perceive self, other people, the environment everything seemingly visible in your world is solid whereas the universal reality is everything you see is light fluctuating along an unlimited frequency band and producing vibrations, whose range also is limitless. The high vibrations that are the driving force toward peaceful negotiations also are crumbling everything based in dark intention. Words emit vibrations and the vibrations of light, peace and love are among the highest. Via the universal law of attraction, 
or like attracts like, words vibrations combine with like and go out into your world. Words in high vibratory ranges merge with the light, low are drawn to energy streamers with dark attachments, and words emissions intensify the source they join. Absorbing light, which is simply living in godly ways, is the body's best defense against the toxic elements in chemtrails and all other forms of pollution. Light strengthens the immune system and helps to achieve and maintain the balance that promotes healthy bodies, minds, and spirits. We cannot tell you how to discern if your cellular structure is crystalline, but we can tell you the transformation from carbon structure comes with light absorption, and that comes easily. As God told my mother, it is as simple as, be kind. The importance of carbon-based cells being transformed into crystalline cannot be overstated. Crystalline cells contain cosmic knowledge and enable bodies to retain viability in astral planes where Earth is headed. Reception of light is the province of the soul. Absorption of light is the province of the body, which directs light into its cells that have been programmed by the DNA to accept it. However, dark or scientifically speaking, negative energy attachments block the light, thus preventing its entry into the cells and correspondingly negatively affecting the DNA. It is through that blocking process that the dark forces are able to make puppets of persons on earth whose intentions and free will choices are based in greed, ruthlessness, and lust for power. Those persons cannot produce light themselves to uplift their motives and deeds, and that is why light from other sources must be sent to them. When it is sent in such abundance that you could almost call it a love assault, it cannot be ignored because the energy surge is so powerful. That is why we urge you to send light to persons whose actions you regard as unconscionable or diabolical. This is not condoning what they do or being indifferent to the suffering they cause, and it certainly is not supporting their actions. What it is, is understanding that darkness is not the enemy of light or the opposite of light, it is the absence of light, and only by having that void filled with light can the darkness in people be overcome. The painful wounds of people and of Earth herself have been caused by every form of what you could call evil. Exposing it literally bringing it to light is necessary so that healing can come. Light love is the only essence in the universe that can heal pain, whether in a single person or in a universal force field with such magnitude of darkness that you cannot begin to imagine it.